This is a cat. This is a cat in a medieval painting. The faces look like tiny old men. The bodies are stretched or squished. They really, really, really don't look like cats. It wasn't because they were bad at art in the Middle Ages. It was intentional. This is a manuscript from Deventer, Netherlands, in the year 1420. The scribe writing it had left the book open after he had worked late one night and came back to find that a cat had peed all over the page. Cursed be the pesty cat that urinated over this book during the night in Deventer, and because of it, many others did too. And beware well not to leave open books at night where cats can come. It's understandable that some medieval Europeans were really annoyed by their cats. Heck, we still get annoyed today. But that's no excuse for whatever this is. But apparently, this was a European problem. Here are some wall paintings of cats from ancient Egypt, pretty lifelike, and this scroll from the Ming Dynasty in China, and this one, painted by Emperor Chu Chanqi between 1399 to 1435. But it wasn't actually bad artists that turned cats into tiny little gremlins. There's one main reason why. It's the Catholic Church. Before Christianity was widespread in Europe, cats were well loved by the ancient Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians, and were often considered divine in their respective religions. Cats were also mainly associated with the feminine. They represented many different female goddesses, like the Egyptian goddess of the hearth and home, Bastet, and the Greek and Roman goddess of magic and women, Hecate. Obviously, this wasn't going to fly with the Christians. Part of their strategy toward becoming the dominant European religion was to demonize pagan religions. If you want to read more about this, we've linked some articles in the description box below. Cats' pagan connections were the first strike against them. Their connection to women was also a big knock. In the early Middle Ages, women were closely associated with the biblical Eve and the fall of man from the Garden of Eden in Genesis. The medieval mindset portrayed women as sinful, lusty, and responsible not only for Adam's fall from grace, but all the struggles that men had as a result of the fall. This was mitigated by the popularization of the cult of the Virgin Mary around 1000 to 1300 AD and the French Romantic tradition of courtly love soon after. Both of these ideas elevated women's status, but they were still often viewed as tending towards evil. Medieval Christianity also associated cats with Judaism. In the Middle Ages, Jews were vilified as Christ killers and said to worship cats like the ancient Egyptians. They were said to be able to transform themselves into cats, to sneak into Christian homes to do mischief and cast spells, and were also believed to crucify cats as a mockery of Christ's death on the cross. Sorcerers were also believed to keep cats, especially black cats, as familiars. So my name is Damien Kempf. I'm a specialist of medieval history. We find about cats, like the legends are, are, are going to be about the black cats. So, you know, the, 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 the cats associated with people who derive from, you know, the Christian faith, basically, whose beliefs are suspicious and uh, believed to be wrong by the church. So the legend of the black cat, I think, is the one that is uh, certainly the most common. So cats are good because they can catch mice, but cats can, can, cats can be bad because, you know, again, they can see in the dark and they're associated with heretics. The practice of alluromancy was used to predict the future by observing a cat's movements. Cat's behavior was used to predict the weather or see if an uninvited visitor was at the door. But there were also far worse practices. The tag harem, practiced by Scotland during the Middle Ages and up through the 16th century, involved spit roasting a live cat over a bonfire. The cat's wails as it burned alive were thought to invoke the devil 
who was trying to protect one of its own. You would then barter some bit of information about the future in exchange for putting the cat out of its misery. Art in the Middle Ages had only one purpose, to supplement and ornament religion. The fascination with animals in medieval art reflects the Christian belief that God made animals as mirrors of human society. In Western Europe, most of the population was Christian and there wasn't any option even to opt for a different religion. So medieval art basically is religious art which is meant to illustrate the most important aspects of Christian teaching, starting obviously with, you know, Mary, Jesus, and all the biblical stories and the sense that uh, Christianity celebrates. Different animals were symbols of values or ideas. Dogs were symbols of loyalty and valor. The ermine was a symbol of purity. Rabbits were symbols of lust. Birds represented souls. It goes back to the narratives of the creation in the Bible, uh, where it said that animals were created to serve human beings. So their job is really to help and assist human beings in their daily lives. And so at some point, uh, medieval people are going to create stories around animals that in a way are going to, uh, to be used to help human beings to act better. Animal symbols of Christian morality were, as you can see, pretty heavy handed. Cats were given little goblin faces to show that they were demon-esque. Their anthropomorphic facial expressions contrasted their untamed nature from their devout, civilized human counterparts. Humans were drawn with very neutral expressions, since a good Christian was supposed to regulate their emotions. Cats, since they were close to the devil, had all manner of snarly expressions and twisty poses to demonstrate their evilness. These paintings and manuscript illuminations are pretty funny to look back on now. They're incredibly popular as memes across the internet, and understanding why people believed what they did helps us understand more about what we believe today. Did you like this little bit of art history? Would you want to know why the Ming Dynasty in China couldn't draw drafts? Let us know in the comments, click subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for post notifications. This is a cat. This is a cat. This is a cat. This is a cat. This is a cat.